Upgrading the kit programmer, and it includes a PSOC op-amp automatic pan assignments example. This is an extension of the previous video. We use the same PSOC used in the previous video. The build was successful, but programmer upgrade is recommended. This is the PSOC programmer. The default device and family are not correct. The appropriate ones are selected. The USB power is supplied, but it's not connected. US power is disconnected and then reconnected. Now it's connected. We are directed to the Utilities tab and the Update Firmware button. There's the Utilities tab. And there's the Upgrade Firmware button. After pressing that, now the PSOC programmer is up to date. And the build was successful. And the programming was successful. An op amp was selected and two input pins were attached just like in the previous video. Pin numbers were automatically assigned to op amp 3 for some unknown reason. The op amp name was changed manually. Automatic pin assignment occurs here. This is the programming statement that activates the op amp. External resistor connections are similar in the previous video. We have 1 volt input, 2 volts output. One volt input on pin 33. 2 volts output on pin 37. Inverting input on pin 32. All is not well. If the input voltage is 1.6 volts DC, then the output goes into a 12.5 kilohertz sinusoidal oscillation. If the input voltage is 2 volts DC, the output swings rail to rail at 10.7 kilohertz. If you have an idea what might be the cause, please leave a suggestion.